Oh, uh, hey guys. Sorry if I sound a little sick or nasally, but I'm just going to record this for the Jamoose Table channel. Uh, there's this... I've learned recently console commands on how to change around and alter states, so... In Millennium Dawn, I kind of made my own world and stuff out of it. And made my own nation, so I'll just show those around a bit. Alright. Loading graphics. Okay. Well, I was resumed on the Empire of China. Ying Zheng Huan. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do uh, Chinese pronunciations. Yeah. So there's that, the restored Qing Dynasty. I also have Mongolia, which I forgot to change to the Mongol Empire. Russia. Of course. The United Arab Republic, which is Ba'athism in its final form, or basically all of the Arab states under one. Uh, Ba'athism. Ba'athism. Uh, you know, with, with with Assad and Saddam Hussein, those guys. Uh, Transnistrian Republic, because I know if I did any actual changes to the Balkans, uh, get a lot of shit, a lot of angry nationalists. So here, Transnistria is a worn down post-Soviet shithole, and so is most of the Balkans, so I think it works well. Hungary, gave him control of Slovakia. Yeah, Poland's just Poland. Poland never changes. Got Germany. Germany now in one piece. Probably should have changed their ideology too. It doesn't look fitting with Merkel here. Denmark. Yep, there's Denmark. The British Empire under you know who. Queen Elizabeth. She even owns Australia and New Zealand. Great Raj, which is basically the British Raj, but not really under control of the British Raj. The Princely Council. Malian Empire, which I based mostly off of Mana Musa's. Mali Empire, because I know... I'm not too good with pre-colonial Africa, but I do know that the Mali Empire at its height stretched like over around this. Also, a uh, big flaw in the province of Mali, or like the provinces that make up Mali, they did not include, they did not include Timbuktu. Bullshit. And uh, you know, they need to include that next time. <laughs> Try better. You can do better. Ooh, yeah, and now we can get to the interesting ones, like Bourbon, France. Which I just gave them most of Italy. I tried to form Napoleonic borders. But yeah, by the way, I just left Liechtenstein just as a joke. <laughs> Look how happy he is that he didn't get absorbed into this. And then Bourbon, France also controls New France, or what they used to control up in Canada. Oh yeah, the United States looks interesting. And the papal state, the papal states, <laughs> or just Vatican City, because I can't change the name. Controlling most of Central Italy. So then we get to the Spanish Kingdom with Felipe, controlling a lot of New Spain or what he used to own. I was gonna give him all of this, but I feel like that would be too overpowering. So I kind of just left Peru and I gave all of like. The southern parts of South America to Argentina, as well as restoring Portugal. I uh, also chose the fascist guy because he looks like one of those defend like. Now nah, that's a bad joke, but let's just say he he looks like the type of guy who would bash like the Arabs for quote unquote invading Europe, but then he looks Arab himself. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah, but Europe for Europeans. Let's be real here. Anyway. I was going to originally give all of this to Jamaica and kind of form a Caribbean federation, but I decided not to because I really wanted to go with the Spanish Empire, because just look at it. So I kind of just gave the rest to Jamaica to form a Caribbean federation. You have the United American Douches, basically all of the Midwest, because if I gave it to any other, it would just look ugly, or at least in my opinion it would. There's them, based in Chicago. And then there's Canada, which I also debated, like, 
just fully making part of the British Empire like I did Australia and New Zealand, but I decided against it. Also, Texas. I just love this perfectly straight border. It only kind of caves in at Arkansas, but it's just something about it. I also gave him some of Mexico. And big boy California swallowing the whole East Coast. Originally gonna give I was originally gonna give them all of British Columbia plus Alaska. But you know, I didn't want a big that would be every like Texan's worst nightmare. Confederate States, they kinda look awkward, I know, but I wanted a bigger Texas. So yeah. And I was gonna screw them I was gonna screw them like over even more by giving this to Spain because the Spanish Empire did control Florida but you know going back to the point I don't want to make it too overpowered also New England controlling the entire Northeast plus New Brunswick and Nova Scotia by the way I went to Halifax back in 2015 and it's actually a really nice city like I actually th out of all the major cities that I've been to on the East Coast Halifax is my favorite and yes I can serve part of the East Coast East So yeah, there's Amer that's most of America. Some other things that I wanted to cover on. Vietnam, controlling most of Indochina or Southeast Asia. I was originally going to also give him, well, what was Indonesia. But I really deci I decided against it because I didn't want an entire like United South Asia Southeast Asia as I felt that would be too overpowered. Also, most of the islands out here. They're now part of the Empire of the Solomon Islands, which is basically all the islands. <laughs> I was also going to give the Philippines to to Spain, but going back to my point again, I don't want to make Spain too overpowered. Yeah, also Malta. Malta, I just gave them Crete and uh, this part of Croatia, just so they have their own little empire going there. Oh yeah, Central African Republic. I didn't want to give them anything bordering the coast, then that would ruin their name, so I kind of just gave them Chad. And Ghana. Nigeria is also a weird one. I was going to give Gab. I should have got, you know, let's change that right now. Right, Nigeria, let's just... I honestly, I should have given it to, uh, I should have given it to France to begin with. I feel like if I gave Spain, like, Equatorial Guinea, yeah, right down here, then I guess France could have some of their African colonies, but not all of it. And that would be, there we go. A lot, a lot better, I just didn't. I feel like it didn't look good, it was hanging out, and if I give it to the Congo, I feel like it would also ruin the Congo's borders, or at least what I'm going for, because I want the Congo to flow along the Congo Basin. <laughs> uh, damn. Also, I'm not touching South Africa. I don't want to get into a white nationalist debate in the comment sections. Whew. Botswana. <laughs> uh, ever seen, like, Yakko's Nations of the World? Uh, Botswana, like, one of the only prosperous... It's also kind of funny. They're like one of the more, the most prosperous nations in Africa. Then they're next to Zimbabwe, which is like the total opposite. Also Tanzania, home of Mount Kilimanjaro. Should have probably restored. Uh, I'm going to put the monarchy in Ethiopia again. Also Seychelles. <laughs> I, I had to give them like control of most of these islands. Sorry, I, uh, cold. So we'll just do that quickly. We'll quickly put in a monarchy in place. Yeah, set ruling party monarchist. Okay. That's a lot better. Yeah, uh, the Selassie. Add party popularity. We'll just give it a good stable 90, so no coup date. Uh. 
this is why I shouldn't record before bed. <laughs> Uh, I need, my brain is fried right now, but I have to show this off. Oh yeah, the Persian Empire, how could I forget? Went fascist because it's the only one that gives the name Persian Empire, and I know they're gonna go Islamist again because they have a dumb, like... Oh, they don't? Okay, they used to have this national focus where they would just go back Islamist. Either that or I'm hallucinating. Did I miss anything? Missing it? Yeah, I really didn't change much over here, like with Angola. In my opinion, Angola's borders look okay. Like, nothing needs to be changed. And you know what? Screw it. I don't care. I want to piss some people off. South Africa was always a bland name. Yeah, that's where it is, but you know. Yeah. Better. There we go. Swaziland. Ain't that right? But Swati the third. So yeah. I guess this is all I have to show. I mean. Oh yeah, United Korea again. Oh yeah, Lady Cues of Corruption. <laughs> Japan. Dang, I don't know why they changed the British flag to this. Is this a historical flag? I know that's the Kingdom of Ireland, Scotland. Mm, the Normans? Or would that also represent England? I'm sorry, I'm a little fuzzy on my medieval history. But yeah. This was also originally supposed to be either the Neo-Ottoman Empire or Byzantium, and I know either one of those would have caused, like, a comment section argument. So just be glad it's, uh, neither. Oh, yeah, this is also gonna cause a comment section argument, isn't it? The big United Arab Republic, but where's Israel? What did you do with- <laughs> What did you do with the Jews? This was all. Denmark did own Sweden at one point, right? I know that Denmark owns these dudes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, this is the world I did by messing around with provinces. I I really should change some last minute things. Like, sorry, Polish people, please don't hate me for this. Why can't we be friends? Why can't <laughs> I did it with Swaziland? <laughs> Matswadi, let go of them. I'm probably pronouncing his name so wrong as well. Sorry, there are some things that are bugging me. Oh yeah, also Spain. I was gonna op like just buff them out too much. I was gonna give them all of the low countries too, cause they used to control that in the Spain. Uh, I could have done. I could have just like buffed Spain so much, but I decided I want to give everyone a chance to not get butchered. So I think we'll just. So I just ended up splitting Belgium. Luxembourg has no point of existing. Consider yourself a German province. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, we can make this work, okay. And why did it go out? Okay, okay, so I'll show you how I do it. You see, TD bug. <laughs> That's how you show the world. So then we are going to set owner SOV, because it's not RUS for Russia. Still using base game. Russia now owns the state of Krakow, you see. Then you just slowly do this. Alright guys, this is gonna be the final result. So 
there we go. I just gave Russia part of the, the Warsaw part. And I tried giving Germany what was considered Poland's historical lands. Yeah, this seems about <laughs> it seems about right. So this was my world. I've changed every part of it now. I buffed out all the edges. Now let's just go through like list of countries one by one because I know I I added more fascists in. I killed Islamism as an ideology. Dang. That looks like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> looks like Hillary Clinton if she was a nationalist leader for Flanders. Oh, I added in a lot of monarchies. Yeah, imperialism, monarchy. Go kind of go hand in hand. Russia should have changed that to a monarchy too. A lot of this would have been monarchy. No, wait. God damn it. I want to kill them. There we go. Now we have a good Germany. Look at that. Thick. Alright, well. I mean, one communist country, Transnistria. A bunch of social liberals, especially like the separatist states here. And with this being said, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.